Hi everyone, welcome to this Office 365 minimum proficiency video on how to access SharePoint sites. Now I'm going to start uh, after having already logged in to Office 365. I'm going to start in the SharePoint sites list. Now you can access that by clicking on the tiles in the top left and clicking on sites. For those of you who are not familiar with SharePoint sites, SharePoint sites are internal websites. So they're hosted on the web, but you can only access them if you have an Office 365 account uh, with the district. These are really great for setting up departmental sites where you can share files. You can also use them for blogging or class sites as well. So within SharePoint sites, I already have a number of sites uh, listed. These are sites that I've been invited to, just like you'll be invited to one. And what you're going to need to know about minimum proficiency is how to add them to this list. So how to get them on your list of favorite sites, if you will. Over here, I have a site that's been created that is not yet on my SharePoint sites list. So typically what would happen is someone would create this site. Um, in this case, I've been working with another teacher to create a To Kill a Mockingbird blog. What that teacher would do to invite me to that site would be that she would click on share over here and then add my name and that will prompt an email to be sent to me uh, telling me to join the site. That email will take just a minute here uh, to pop up over in my Office 365 account. Here it is right now. So this email that's been generated by the teacher adding me to the site includes two links. It includes a link directly to that blog that I was at just a minute ago. It also includes a link to follow. Now, um, what I suggest is to click on this follow button so that it shows up in my list of uh, SharePoint sites uh, from that top tab. So when I click follow, It asks me, do I want to follow this site? I will. I'm taken to the site. Now if I were to go back over to um, my site's tile, that site is then uh, added to my list of sites, uh, and you'll see that updated in your list. Now an alternative to this, um, if you were to click on uh, just go to the To Kill a Mockingbird blog or whatever the site name is. The alternative to add it to your list of SharePoint sites from your tiles is to click on this follow star up here. If I were to click on that star, it'll either tell me that I'm already following the site or to unfollow it, to remove it from my SharePoint sites, I can click it again and it'll remove it from my list. Thanks for watching this short tutorial. Check out adambabcock.com or sevenignites.com for other tips and tricks with your MacBook Air and Office 365 services.